there youtube family welcome back to our channel i'm rashid your instructor and today i have got something super exciting to make your life more easy we are talking about an automated attendance template that's going to change the way you manage your staff attendance so grab a seat and let's dive into the magic all right here's the deal i have got a simple data entry form as you can see on your screen where you just punch in your staff attendance on daily basis as you can see on 1st January, you will put in the attendance. Similarly, on 2nd, 3rd, 4th, and you will put in the attendance on daily basis. So, this is my report that is empty right now because I didn't have any data and this is my helping sheet. So, now at the end of the month, so data will be like this. Your report is still empty. So, on daily basis, when you will keep punching the sales, so you just need to visit under data, refresh all. Now, you can see, so the report is here. As you can see, I'm having two. 35 employees in the company and the present data with reference to the department this is human resource department in human resource department i'm having seven number of employees more you can check the stats so this is fully automated when you will be punching data here this data will be converted to a vertical data with the help of power query and the data will be storing to our power pivot environment here and here i have made some dax calculations so basically this was the introduction of that template and now we will be making this template from start to end so let's get started the first thing you need to do is open excel and create a new file i already opened a new file and added my all stuff in this sheet now let's put in the dates from first gen plus one and copying this if i will press ctrl r from my keyboard it will paste the formula to the right side so now i will press ctrl t from my keyboard and i will convert this data into table now on daily basis i will be keep putting my attendance for example on january i will put p for present on present on january 1 my all employees were present it was on leave this one is on leave and this one is on leave so similarly for the whole month i will be keep putting my attendance on daily basis so at the end of the month i will be having my attendance like this so first of all i'm going to this table design and from here i will be selecting this format then I will be putting one new row on upper side and here I will be selecting my this all cell till here and I will be typing text in text I will be selecting my date comma and I want the day name here and I will press control enter from my keyboard so it will give me the name of the day now I will be selecting my this all data and I will be visiting this conditional formatting in conditional formatting highlight cells and rules and here equal to if this is equal to off then make it yellow again I'm going to the same path equal to if this is equal to leave then make it green okay this is my tendus and if I will be visiting this table design here, I will replace the name of table to attendance. I will convert my this data entry attendance sheet into the vertical data. On that data, I can apply the pivot table. So for this, I will be visiting this data under data head. This is from table and range. I will be selecting this one. I'm clicking on employee ID. I'm pressing shift from my keyboard and going on right side. This one, this one, this one. And I'm going to transform under transform. I'm selecting unpivot other column. So this is my date and this is my attendance. As you can see, this date column is not in date format. So I'm selecting my this column and I'm going to home in home under data type. I'm selecting date and my rest columns are in text format. So now I'm going home, under home, I will be selecting close and load. And here I will be selecting this pivot report and I will be selecting this, add this data to the data model, okay? So now if I will be clicking on this power pivot and I will be selecting this manage. So my data is uploaded here. So first of all, I'm going to this design and in design, I will be selecting calendar under home i'm selecting diagram view this is my calendar table you can say this is my fact table and this is attendance so this is my transactional table so i will be making 
date connection with this attendance date so why i'm used this calendar table here if you want to know this you must watch this episode where i have explained each and everything that why we must use this calendar table here so this thing is done now i'm going to this data view and in data view first of all i will making a tax calculation for my attendance number and i will be counting count all and in attendance table i want to count my attendance so this is my attendance okay so basically this is my total attendance now i will be using the formula of calculate and i will be calculating the number of present the number of leave the number of off so for this first of all i'm going to calculate my present so i will be typing present calculate under calculate the first thing we have to put that is the expression so here i will be typing count all which thing i need to count i need to count attendance under attendance and here i will close the parenthesis comma so if you will press alt enter it will send you to the next row so here i will be applying my filter so in attendance is equal to p parenthesis close it will count the attendance if there will be a filter of p so these are my present 5324 i'm copying this one here i will be calculating my off so i will replace p with off and present with off okay so this is my off now here i will be calculating my leave and i will replace this off with l so now i have to calculate the present percentage so for this i will be dividing total present on the total attendance so here i will be selecting this percentage format on that percentage and i will decrease the decimal going back to my excel sheet so here i will be selecting my employee id in row so the one more thing i need to change in my power pivot window that is to get the full name so for this i'm going back to my manage and here i will be adding one new column so now i will be typing full name and i will be merging my first name and my and my last name okay so here i will be selecting my this full name and attendance will be in column section i will be selecting my this number of attendance number under design i will be selecting this do not show subtotals then report show in tabular and repeat all more i will be selecting my department here i'm going to insert from insert i will be inserting slicers department and my gender here i'm adding one more sheet and the name of this sheet will be helping sheet and i will copy my this pivot table to this sheet show field list and i will be removing all the things from here so this is my total attendance i'm copying this and pasting it again this is my present copying and pasting it again this is my off copying pasting again this is my leave copying pasting it again and the last thing will be my percentage of presence going back to my report and i'm going to insert going to shape and inserting this shape now i will select my this shape and i'm going to this formula bar typing is equal to and going to my helping sheet and selecting my present and press enter i'm copying this one now replacing this going to my this helping sheet and selecting my off copying it again and replacing this my leave and copying pasting it again and here going back to helping sheet this is my total attendance copying pasting again going to this sheet and this is my percentage of presence so now i'm clicking on this shape and i'm pressing shift from my keyboard and clicking on rest shapes now i'm going to this shape format and from here i'm going to this align align top the next option i'm going to select is distribute horizontally now i'm going to home under home making the text color to white and from here i will be selecting comic and i will make this center align making them bold and the text size will be 14 now i'm going back to insert and in insert i will be selecting this text box i'm pasting this text box here and i'm going to this shape format fill will be none and this will be also none or no outline and this is my present and going to home font color to white 
making it center line making it bold and i'm copying it pasting it copy paste again copy paste again so this is my present this is my off this is my leave this is my total attendance and this is present percentage that is 73 percent now i'm selecting these my both slicers and i'm adjusting them here and now i'm copying this one copy paste as value well. and here i will be putting my number of employees i'm going back to this power pivot manage and here i will be calculating my total number of employees i will be typing number of employees is equal to and i will be calculating the distinct count this distinct count of these so i'm having my 235 employees so going back again to my this helping sheet and i'm copying my this pivot table pasting it again here and i will be selecting uh, this number of employees here so 235 my total employees so i'm selecting my this one and here again i will be selecting this one and press enter make it comic and text color to white bold so now i'm going to this view section uncheck this grid lines and i'm going to select this page break preview and i will drag one pen and i will drag this line to here and i will be selecting this row number six and going to view from here i will be selecting this freeze pan now this report is ready if i will be selecting this human resource in human resource i'm having seven number of employees and the percentage of the presence is 73 percent only three leaves in that department so similarly i can check the data for my rest departments information technology we are having 46 employees and in marketing and sales we are having 79 employees more you can slice it with reference to gender so this is cool more i will be selecting all of my these cards shapes and i'm going to this shape format from shape format i will be selecting this shadow and i will be selecting this shadow options from here i will be selecting this one make it 80 and in future you will be adding your data here and you just need to wizard this data and whenever you will select this refresh all it will refresh the report Thank you.